Hey, what's up? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Yeah, it's been a cool little minute, but I have some pretty cool news because in an interview with Axios, PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan finally made an official comment for the first time ever about Cyberpunk 2077 removal from the PlayStation Store. In today's video, we're going to go over that article and see exactly kind of figure out when, how is this game going to be back on the PlayStation Store. So if at any given time you found this video helpful or just, just a little bit entertaining, please by all means follow, like, subscribe on all social media platforms, but especially on YouTube to help these videos get out there in the YouTube algorithm and I'm able to get back more and do more giveaways. Right now we have a giveaway going for Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Links down below in the description. Thanks for watching everybody. Now Jim Ryan finally had an official statement about Cyberpunk 2077. It's been a cool little minute. Finally, we got a little bit more details of exactly what happened and why it was actually removed from the PlayStation Store. So he effectively confirmed that the decision to remove the game was made by Sony and that it was a touch decision. However, he declined to comment on certain criteria of what is required for it returning to the PlayStation Store. See, back in December 2020, just about a week after Cyberpunk 2077 launch, the game was removed from the PlayStation Store due to the poor performance on the PlayStation 4. Yeah, PlayStation 5, it ran a little bit better, but it did not matter. They still pulled it from the store. Now, Ryan has finally offered up what appears to be a confirmation of the removal that it was indeed done by Sony. Now, in this article, it says that it was a tough decision for us to make, but ultimately, we had to act in the interest of the PlayStation community and not knowingly sell a game that might result in bad experience for them. The move was arguably a first for PlayStation certainly the most high profile example of a game being removed from the store now we all know fallout 76 was an absolute trash pile when it first came out it wasn't removed from the store with patches it got better the same thing can be said for outriders absolutely broken never was removed from the store and now we know why now when jim ryan was pressed about what it would take to get the game back on the playstation store he reclined to add any more details. Now, this is perhaps hinting towards that Sony reasons for the removal of the game from the PlayStation Store had to deal with the general quality of the game, but on top of that, how PlayStation players felt about it. And another reason why it was probably removed from the store was the way CD Projekt Red handled the botch launch at the expense of the platform holder, which is Sony. Now, CD Projekt Red also hasn't stated what it will take to get the game back on the PlayStation Store, but that the ball is in Sony's court. Now, I've reported on this quite a extensively, and we're back again, which means it's probably getting closer to being put back on the store, but there are gonna be a few requirements. Now, CD Projekt Red's profit has taken a huge hit since it hasn't been on the PlayStation Store, so you know they want some of that money. But how will they get back on the store? Not only for direct sale for PlayStation, for them to get a little bit of kickback from that being on their platform, but also CD Projekt Red. They both want and need to make money, right? Well, any additional updates, expansion, and proper next generation versions of cyberpunk 2077 well they're expected to be out this year but just on the playstation 5. what i expect to happen is that the game will return to playstation because obviously both parties want to make money but it won't be back on the playstation 4 just on the playstation 5 when the next gen version is released with all the bells and whistles 4k 60 or 120 frames per second with ray tracing and haptic feedback that's just personally what i think i think is a great business move for both parties involved to just forget about the playstation 4 version and just move on with the playstation 5 on and treat it as a, as a new launch 
of Cyberpunk 2077. But for right now, that's pretty much going in for the video. I had to keep the community updated. As always, if you are new to this channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe because right here at Carpool Gaming, I upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have that giveaway going for Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Links down below in the description. With your help watching these videos, I'm able to give back more and do more giveaways. So once again, thank you everybody for all your love and your support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.